right, so as you guys know, we have another weekly insurgency to cover in Far Cry 6. And if you keep up on the channel, then you probably are aware that I am one day late on this video. And my only excuses is uh, Elden Ring. That's my excuse. <laughs> uh, last night when I was supposed to be recording this video, I was playing Elden Ring. So yeah, I'm making it tomorrow or the next day. So it will be one day late. But, but instead of just doing the insurgency, I will cover what's in the black market really quickly too. But first... Let's take a look at the insurgency. All right, so we have to take back one checkpoint. We have to do the uh, Coco Drillo uh, special operation for Lola. We have to blow up two anti-aircraft cannons and we have to take back one FMD base. And all these locations can be found on this part of the map right here. As you can see, here's your checkpoint here. Here, here's two anti-aircraft cannons and here is your FMD base. And this right here is the special operation that you have to do. And while we're here, we'll, we'll take a look at the black market weapons right here. Uh, first, we have this breach and clear set of armor, which is more oriented towards gadgets. Like this one, you can carry more remote gadgets. So this one improves your SMG ammo reserve, uh, refills weapon magazine after takedowns, greatly reduces movement noise during uh, nighttime, and killing an enemy with a gadget tags additional enemies around them. So. It's more of like a close range tactical, like uh, 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 armor set. But uh, I do got to give it one thing though, is that it does look super duper cool. So if you're going for style, this does look very nice. Now for the weapons, we have the Liberty Custom MGL-6, uh, which, hey, it's a grenade launcher. So if you like grenade launchers, then oh, there you go. Then up here in the premium content, we have the Yara Punk side piece, which is a, uh, it's a, it's a vector, but it says it's a submachine gun, but uh. It is a pretty good machine gun. As you can see, it does shoot 1,200 rounds per minute. So that is definitely nothing to mess around with it. Um, I would have put the mod on here that increases the mag size because uh, 30 rounds at 1,200 rounds per minute is gonna go by super duper quick. But as long as you put all the good attachments on it, it will be a pretty good uh, submachine gun. And we also have the Moto Urbano jacket, which greatly improves your stamina recovery, which is actually pretty good because running out of stamina is super annoying, especially when you're running away from someone. So yeah, pretty good uh, chess piece there. Yeah, in terms of uh, insurgency rewards, I will hover over each one of these objectives so that you can see the rewards. Then if you complete the entire insurgency, you will get 1,250 Maninda, one special ops key, 150 Maninda, and this La Americana light machine gun, which I don't know why. I feel like this has been an insurgency rewards before. Like right in the being, in beginning, it was like one of the first four insurgencies that were like released. I feel like this was one of the weapons, but in my opinion, I don't think it's very good because it does have poison rounds and no suppressor, which that is just... I don't know. I don't think that's that good. It needs to have a suppressor and a uh, uh, armor piercing rounds. So, and it don't have that. So, I don't think it's gonna be that good. It does improve weapon damage to enemies that are low at, at low health, and improves weapon damage to enemies that are below you. It needs to have armor piercing rounds to be good. Really, if it does, if it doesn't have armor piercing rounds, it ain't worth using in my opinion. But uh, but yeah, I pretty much covered everything other than the leader right here. So I'm going to go do all these objectives and then come back and show you the leader. And then I will shoot this gun a couple of times so you can see what it's like. Because normally I would do that in today's video, but I'm filming the insurgency video today. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to get these done then show you the leader on the map. And yeah, I'll be back in just a minute. And yeah, that is this week's insurgency covered in the black market all in one video. If you like the style better where I cover everything in one video, then definitely tell me in the comments. And if you like this video or found it at all helpful, then give this video a like and then get subscribed so you don't miss any of my future Far Cry 6 videos. And I have been making a lot of Elden Ring videos, so if you're interested in Elden Ring, then maybe check out my channel. And one more thing, I did make a channel membership, so if you're a loyal subscriber to the channel and you really want to help the channel out and help support me, then that is always an option. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.